It's time for Eric Plays, Dear Esther, Episode 1. Alright, so again, sorry for anybody on the stream who uh, ended up um, who ended up with things in a strange state. Um, I'm going to play Dear Esther, like I was saying before. Um, unlike other games that have a lot of text, assuming this one does have a lot of text, I'm not going to be... Um, I'm not going to be reading every single thing. I'll be talking about my decisions, why I made my decisions, and um, and uh, stuff like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the game. Okay. I'm going to assume I start at the beginning. Let me go back for one second. So audio, got two speakers. Um, these things have fake 5.1. I'll do 5.1. Hi, full captions. Video. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Alright. So it's Wazda. Quick save is F6, okay. Alright, let's do this. <coughs> so, like most people, I've heard that this game is, you know, in the zeitgeist, but I haven't heard much else about it. I'm kind of going in this Dearest, brand new. The morning after I was washed ashore, salt in my ears, sand in my mouth, and the waves always at my ankles, I felt as though everything had conspired to this one last shipwreck. I remembered nothing but water, stones in my belly and my shoes, threatening to drag me under to where only the most listless of creatures swim. Hmm, okay. Ah, interesting. Ooh, this lighthouse reminds me of Maine. Hold on, my system is bugging me with something. What is this? Uh, access. Alright, let's go back in. This is some firewall thing with Dear Esther. Okay. So I've washed ashore, I guess, from a shipwreck. But I'm in some place where everything's abandoned, at least where I am now. Although, over there, I see a red light going. Hmm. That is super gross. Okay, well, at least I know I'm not in some, like, super past place, because I see a toilet. There's music here. Dirty wash basin. What's this? Can something and honesty together in a yogurt? <laughs> I like those little touches in a game. Um, some playing cards. A history. Activate. Let me double check my keyboard and mouse again. So I've got forward, backwards. Swim is Q. Okay. Just making sure I'm not able to somehow grab these things or something. This. What the? Alright. I know enough to know that this is a. Uh, chemical formula, but not enough to know what that formula is. Maybe... No, that's not complex enough for caffeine. I'm not sure what that is. It's, it's carbon, carbon, with hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen. So this might split off as like a, um, a base, I think. Oh! 
Hey, Tony, how's it going? <laughs> I, uh, I hope you, uh, you, you didn't go away when I didn't answer you right away. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's funny. Of all the people I expected to, uh, to see me playing, I didn't expect, uh, my little brother Tony. That's hilarious. Well, that, uh, changes my mind as to, uh, abandoning YouTube chat in, uh, future upgrades to my overlay. <laughs> all right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We'll see if he's, uh, he's still there. He says, hey, that's the last message I have. Let's see if he writes anything else. So anyway, food and goods. So we, so far we've seen a chemical formula written on the wall, which is kind of strange. And an abandoned uh, building here. All right, let's see what's over here. It's a boiler. Bunch of paint. Looks like they were getting ready to uh, repaint or something. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Let's walk over this way then. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty typical. I mean, 60 seconds seems a bit long, but uh, it's going to depend on um, how uh, when you joined in compared to when I started playing. So anyway, I'm glad to have you there. I'm always glad to have people watching, and even better when it's somebody I know. <coughs> Won't be as fun as that uh, that game you guys were watching at my house where the guy's always killing his little dude, but you know. So here I go, walking on the beach. It's definitely not Florida. Florida beaches are not this uh, rocky. My dude is walking so slowly. Hmm, something on the floor over here. Some kind of lobster cage or something. Bunch of lobster cages. Hmm, okay. Let's keep going. Do, 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 do. Walking, walking, walking on the beach. Am I leaving footprints? Nope. That's okay. Maybe I'm a ghost. Alright, so here I go uppity up. Those islands in the distance, I'm sure, are nothing more than relics of another time. Sleeping giants, somnambulist gods laid down for a final dreaming. I wash the sand from my lips and grip my wrist ever more tightly. My shaking arms will not support my fading diaries. Huh. Like, that is some purple prose, I'll tell you that. Look at all this. This is so abandoned. There's tree. There's uh, plants grown here. Up, up, up we go. I should sit up straight or my back's gonna hurt. <laughs> Getting to be an old man. Okay, cool. Pretty cool that you're there, Tony. <laughs> Here I go. This is beautiful. For some reason, I thought this game was like uh, more of a. A wonderful sight. The moon cresting the junction between the cliff path and the stone circle. It cast a shadow of the ridge across the beach, all the world as if you had signed your name in untidy handwriting. <laughs> That's, this is uh, going to be like a adventure game or some kind of cartoony thing, or maybe just looking at text. But uh, no, this is uh, pretty interesting. Climb up that way. Oh, just a little bit that way. Let's see. When someone had died or was dying, 
and were so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice. They cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Hmm. So, was there some kind of zombie apocalypse here? Interesting. What's this? This is interesting looking. Kind of scary, actually. I'm not 100% sure I'm going in the right direction, but... They were God-fearing people, those shepherds. There was no love in the relationship. Donnelly tells me that they had one Bible that was passed around in strict rotation. It was stolen by a visiting monk in 1776, two years before the island was abandoned altogether. In the interim, I wonder, did they assign chapter and verse to the stones and grasses, marking the geography with a superimposed significance that they could actually walk the Bible? and inhabit its contradiction. Hmm. So it sounds like perhaps I'm reading a very old diary because he knows about stuff from 1776, but it could just be that he's talking about something that he's heard or read. I'm getting closer to the lighthouse. I'm also getting near Dear this Esther, cave. I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiraled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Hmm. Interesting. So, more biblical references. Uh, Paul gets converted to Christ on the road to Damascus. But his bonnet thing makes it seem like he had a car crash. This So far, this game is just puzzles upon puzzles. Very beautiful, though. So I guess I could go up that way. I would leave you presents outside your retreat in this interim space between cliff and beach. I would leave you loaves and fishes. Another biblical Fish reference. stocks have been depleted and I've run out of bread. I would row you back to your homeland in a bottomless boat, but I fear we would both be driven mad by the chatter of the sea creatures. All right, this is super trippy. What? Oh, this is paint from that place I was at. Someone used the paint to paint... Some kind of tree thing. Here's that same chemical equation again. I bet if my wife was in here, she'd be like, oh yeah, this is uh, blah -de blah blah blah. Do I do vlogs or challenge videos? Um, no, I'm mostly I just do regular blog posts, uh, Tony. But uh, um, I'm not sure what a challenge video is. Maybe if you tell me what it is, I'll let you know if I do it or not. <clears throat> so there's a, another tree looking thing what could be an eye or a womb some bones or paint some more lines Maybe I'll stick to the path for now. I don't know about swimming.
I have a chance later tonight. I'm gonna ask Danielle what that chemical equation is. I bet you it was something easy. Since she was a chemist by training. And, uh, we'll see what she tells me. This game could definitely use Ansel. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh... He still maintains he wasn't drunk, but tired. I can't make the judgment or the distinction anymore. I was drunk when I landed here, and tired too. I walked up the cliff path in near darkness, and camped in the bay where the trawler lies beached. It was only at dawn that I saw the Bothy, and decided to make my temporary lodgings there. I was expecting just the area and a transmitter stashed in a weatherproof box somewhere on the mount. It had an air of uneasy permanence to it. Like all the other buildings here, erosion seems to have evaded it completely. Uh, yeah, so I don't really do any challenge things. Um, I, uh, other than, so what I did say is whoever donates money to me, I'll do as many push-ups as they donate. And our brother Dan donated a hundred bucks. So I had to do 100 push-ups. That was pretty crazy. So yeah, um, as far as uh, the new graphics cards with their Hansel thing that lets you take pictures in the environment, that would be awesome for this. Here's some weird Stonehenge thing going on here. A Bible and a chemistry book, which I'm not surprised given all the equations we've seen. Huh. Chemical equation again. This one has some, uh, some uh, benzene rings. Closer and closer. Scary. If something jumps out of here, I'm going to scream like a little girl. I know it. Holy moly. Dear Esther. I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. So, the M5 tells me... This is like England or some kind of British territory because that's how they name their highways. <coughs> There's a super modern ship over there. Shipwreck. Now where do I go? I could go up, I could go this way, I go this way. Cans. Let's do a quick save. There we go, just in case my computer crashes or something.
I like the music. It's very nice music. Well, isn't this an accident? Just a minute, guys. Okay, just seems like one of her usual little times where she cries in the middle of the night, but doesn't didn't like vomit or anything like that, so we can kind of let it go. Let's see, seems like there's a game wants me to go in this direction over here, so I'm going to go over here. I wish I could go a little faster, but I know the game is trying to force me to... Uh, take everything in. Looks like there was maybe a hurricane or something. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? Did he uh, eat nor drink? What? Hmm. The boat says something like Neither did he eat nor drink. That's... Like, what the F is going on here? Hmm. Okay, let's explore the main boat as much as we can. When it said, be right back. Tony, are you asking about when it said, be right back? Let's see what, if anything. So I don't have my normal jump button that I normally have in these type of games. Let's see what's over here. Some broken equipment. Some more paint cans. So I guess that kind of tells me who... Oh, yeah, that's just me, um, Tony. I have this thing that... Uh, where I'm controlling the different scenes and I have a scene for when I need to go away. Um, <clears throat> most of the people you watch probably don't have something like that because they probably don't have kids. <laughs> but I need to be able to get away and kind of turn off the video and all that stuff. And that was Stella. Stella cries out a couple times every night. Sam pretty much sleeps the whole night once he starts going to sleep. All night the boy has kept me lucid. I sat when I was at the very edge of despair, when I thought I would never unlock the secret of the island. I sat at the edge, and I watched the idiot boy blink through the night. He is mute, and he is retarded, and he has no thought in his metal head but to blink each wave and each minute aside until the morning comes and renders him blind as well as deaf mute. In many ways, we have much in common. 
Huh. So that's the buoy he's talking about. Interesting. Alright, so this thing did a switch back over here. Let's see. I thought it did. Let's see. to the boat okay so there's the boat was it I thought I s there was a the path had split at one point I might need to trace my way all the way back and then all the way back up from there. I think I want to get up there, but I've lost track of where I was exactly. I must have come from, from over here. I remember seeing this scene. So, let's see, can I go up this? And once I'm up here, where do I go? Try going this way again. See if there's something I missed last time. I feel like I could jump here, but I don't want to, uh, how do you donate money? <laughs> uh, well, you go to that, uh, URL there, the extra life URL, but, uh, but you're gonna have to ask dad for permission to use a credit card. <laughs> but then you will get a thank you, that's for sure. Maybe I thought I could go up this way. Maybe I thought I could go up, but I can't actually. <laughs> Doop -doop -doop. Don't go donating a thousand dollars. I can't do a thousand push ups. <laughs> Ah, here we go. This is what it was. When I was able to come back up, it was this way, I guess. I see. So I'm back here again. I can't look at the buoy. Um, and when I came back. Came back up this way instead of this side over here. That's what it is. Okay. So if I come up this way, I think this is just where I came and I end up in the same place. So I'm a little lost, I guess.
course, being lost in a slow, slow game like this is agonizing. There's no way I can climb up here, right? I tried that already. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Maybe I just go up this way. Maybe I'm misremembering which way I came from. We'll see. If I start seeing, uh, let's see, what was it? I guess it'll be a load screen, I guess. We'll see. Very claustrophobic in here. Am I stuck? Hmm. Okay. So no going that way. I'm pretty sure this is the way I came. So question is where do I go from here <coughs> it has to be something I'm missing over here with the boats dude did say it looked like one of them had a hole in it so maybe I'll see if I can find a hole in a boat stay up here and I'll be able to jump onto something or something like that. Oh boy. Walkity 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 walk. Our way up this way. I had kidney stones, ah. and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Hmm. So it looks like the guy he was talking about before they got into an accident with him killed his girlfriend or lover or something like that. Cool, I'll be looking for your donation. You'll definitely get a shout out, plus however many uh, push ups I'll owe you. And it's for um, hospital, it's for a good cause. Alright, new location to search. Let's see here. And I'm getting closer to that beacon up there. Ooh, music. I've begun to climb away from the sea and towards the center. It is a straight line to the summit, where the evening begins to coil around the aerial and squeeze the signals into early silence. The bothy squats against the mount to avoid the gaze of the aerial. I too will creep under the island like an animal and approach it from the northern shore. Someone did some surgery here. These are surgical tools. Those are gauze strips. Things could get pretty interesting going forward. No more chemical formulas. Music's kind of creepy. Higher and higher we go. Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. 
He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. That freaking sucks. Bail notice. So some kind of court thing? More chemical formulas. See what's in this house. Hopefully not like some scary dude. More paint. Some weird Kraken looking thing. ran out I didn't pick up a torch but used the moonlight to read by when I've pulled the last shreds of sense from it I will throw Donnelly's book from the cliffs and perhaps myself with it maybe it will wash back up through the caves and erupt from the spring when the rain comes making its return to the hermit's cave perhaps it will be back on the table when I wake I think I may have thrown it into the sea several times before mutations are huh? What are these crazy books here? They're everywhere. Maybe there was a cult here? Like, there was a, like, some cult that committed suicide? Some jeans, a shirt. Bunch of paint and stuff, some tin cans. Stove. Uh-oh. Nobody in the bed, but there's a sleeping bag. More clothes. More paint. I could throw myself into the sea. That's what the guy said he would do. And I died. Come back. Huh. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's go back this way. Going to this other cave or whatever is over here, I guess. Let's see. Which way do I go? If I go this way. I guess I can go up. I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to be going. Let's go this way. Let's continue this way first. If I have to double back and go up, I'll double back and go up. <coughs> Maybe there's creepy stuff in this cave too. Oh, good night, Tony. I'll probably be going to sleep myself soon. If you do have to go to sleep before I stop, you can always look for the video on YouTube. I'll post the video later. You can fast forward to Enough where we were. Note. The editor comments that at this point, Donnelly was going insane as syphilis tore through his system like a drunk driver. 
He's not to be trusted. Many of his claims are unsubstantiated, and although he does paint a colorful picture, much of what he says may have been derived directly from his fever. But I've been here, and I know, as Donnelly did, that this place is always half imagined. Even the rocks and caves will shimmer and blur with the right eyes. <laughs> That's creepy. I think I'm going to do five to six more minutes. They found Jacobson in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. All around him, small flowers were reaching for the weak sun. The goats had adjusted happily to life without a shepherd and were grazing freely about the valley. Donnelly reports they hurled the body in fear and disgust down the shaft. But I cannot corroborate this story. So here's the uh, bones of a boat. Climbing down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves, winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. That's a pretty picture. <coughs> a candle? With the light on? Okay, that means someone's here, because otherwise this candle would have burned to the bottom already. Ooh, does this remind you of the caves you guys saw? <laughs> oh shit! Scary. Donnelly did not pass through the caves. From here on in, his guidance, unreliable as it is, has gone from me. I understand now that it is between the two of us and whatever correspondence could be drawn from the wet rocks. Holy moly. This reminds me of... Uh Caves in Shenandoah. Bioluminescent uh, uh, mushrooms, apparently. It's very phallic looking. That's freaking awesome. 
Do I jump? Why not? I forgot what swim up was. Q. Okay. It's crazy. If this was a VR game, I think I'd be going bananas. Carefully, carefully. Okay, there should not be a candle here either. Man, this is crazy. More bioluminescent mushrooms. Yummy, yummy. I have to get a new graphics card before I can get a virtual reality uh, system. Tell I am me. traveling through my own body, following the line of infection from the shattered femur towards the heart. I swallow fistfuls of painkillers to stay lucid. In my delirium, I see the twin lights of the moon in the area shining to me through the rocks. Ooh, quartz, I think. Follow the river for a little bit longer. way is blocked. Uh, have to double back a little, I guess. Whoa. And that is a circuit diagram. I see resistors, I see capacitors.
guess I need to walk to that. Because I'm back at the bridge I started at, I'm pretty sure. This might be a different bridge, but... Is that a body? Nope, just some... Some stones. <coughs> oh, there's the chemical equation again. Just walk in this way in case it's going to trigger something. save and then quit for tonight I think <laughs> my goal was to play for an hour and I've been playing for 56 minutes <clears throat> with how slowly this guy walks it'll probably be about an hour by the time I get there Yeah, this stalactite killed me. Uh, it's not this type of game, though. More paint, more drawings. I'm willing to bet. I thought that was a tree, but it might be a synapse. It might be a. Uh, you know, something from your brain. That looks more like a tree, potentially. <clears throat> and this room just looks freaky as F. Like a, there's a bunch of... alien eggs or something. This is a drowned man's face reflected in the moonlit waters. It can only be a dead shepherd who has come to drunk drive you home. see if there's anything there, but no. Hmm. Two more minutes, two more minutes. More candles. Looks like we're reaching the climax of... Holy sh... Nikes. What the... <clears throat> Behold, Damascus is taken. That... What the... F Fuck. Somebody went... Crazy. Wow. I hope you don't get uh, nightmares, Tony. Holy crap. Away from being something, a city? Away from being a city? And shall be 
a something. Huh, a ruinous head? Ruinous keep? I don't know, man. This is just tripping me out. This guy doesn't drown. Here we go. Oh boy. Whoa. What the? What the heck is this? was uh, very trippy. Let's see if I can get to the mouth of this cave. I was hoping for some answers before I quit today, but I don't think I'm going to get them. Alright, well, when I play tomorrow, it'll be pretty ambiguous, unambiguous where to, where to start from. So I will save. There we go, game saved. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Um, that's my first uh, episode of Dear Esther. I had no idea what this game was going to be. I thought it was going to be something completely different. It is a uh, kind of crazy nightmarish game uh, and I'm really excited to see where it goes uh, thanks for uh, watching Tony is always fun to have people here and uh, 
you know, uh, sometimes I get people on the Twitch, sometimes I get people on the YouTube. It's uh, so awesome that you're here. So I will see you tomorrow if you're there when I start playing. And uh, to everyone, thanks for watching. Remember to donate. Uh, it really helps. It's for the children. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.